Good, good morning, YouTube. Um, uh, I woke up this morning. I, I had a phone call from one of the members of NFI, and you know, I thought it was really weird because I usually don't talk to any of them on the phone, really, unless something's important is going on. And I was worried at first because I thought it might have been something, like you know, something happened, and I couldn't be more right. A friend, and a five viewer, and just friend to many out there on YouTube, and also known as Little Miss Kit. She took her own life, and you know I'd hate to be one of those people that pretends to know somebody because I hardly knew Anne. I mean, we talked through stick cam and aim, and you know, I just I want to believe it. I I want to say that didn't happen. That's all some big joke. And that she's really just laughing all us, you know. But she wouldn't do that, you know. This is this is real. She's really gone. And I just I I don't know. I I just felt like I I still haven't come to the realization myself. And I needed to make a video to make this more real and to get my thoughts out there because I really don't know how to put it into words or express myself and you know like maybe somehow through this video that I'm taking right now I can express my condolences and my love for this young lady that knew so many people and, and reached out to so many people I can't help but feeling in hindsight you know when she would come find us on stick cam and talk to us and you know brighten our day with her presence that although she was reaching out to us she, she she was also trying to reach out for herself and to get that support that she she needed and I I don't know I don't know what, what, what was going on with her fully I know her job situation and all the all the crap she was going through but she seemed to be so positive through it all and now now the news of this it just I wish I could do something more I mean like, listen, listen to these words. Um, words do have a lot of power, and it's true that uh, you should be very careful what you say to people. Not so much because the words themselves have a lot of power, but it's more the kind of the thoughts and feelings and the images that it kind of brings in your minds. They have the more power. Um, and it's quite true that a very innocent comment, the words themselves don't really mean much, but to the person you're saying them to, um, they can actually really hurt them or really make them happy. So you just have to bear that in mind when you're talking to people. You know, I I, I met Anne through YouTube and stick cam and I really got to know her really well. And the thing about YouTube and all these things is that there's a lot of hate slung around and a lot of words that are said that are very negative and you'll never you never know how it's gonna affect people where something like this might happen. So I really want everyone out there to think about their words, both here on YouTube and also just in your everyday lives and I just really I don't want to see a tragedy like this again so I think people really need to start being aware of how their words affect people not only that when someone reaches out to you in a way that Anne did you reach back because you never know how much of a difference just a smile can make how much of a difference just a good laugh shared could make and you know if I wish this wouldn't have happened I wish every day from now forward that this wouldn't have happened, but it did. And the only thing we can do now is we, I mean, we're going to be sad for a really long time, but we can grow from this. I'm going to post this on YouTube and on Ning, so I'm going to post links to Anne's, Anne's channel, and I want you to show her some love there. And also I'm going to post links to her, her Ning, and I want you to show her some love there. And spread the love from there forward, you know, just sh share with one another good comments, good things, because you never know how just a simple act of kindness will affect somebody. And I just want to, you know, I don't want to go on too long, I just want to close with just one final thought, you know, because I went, or, went back and watched a lot of her videos and, you know, gave a lot more meaning to some of the things now that she's gone. 
do it with these two fingers. Just hold these two fingers and press them together as you're thinking about that good thought. Just think about that good comment, how you felt, when they said it. Um, just think about all the, all the um, joy you got from hearing somebody say that and all the happiness. Pressing these two fingers together tightly. You know, and if you ever do um, get to a situation where, you know, you are feeling down, use that same technique. Just hold those two fingers together and remember. Just remember the, um, the, the, the good feelings from the good comments. So, yeah, there you go. All right, this video is getting rather long for your response. So, um, I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.